Millisecond pulsars are evolved neutron stars with short spin periods that have undergone long periods of mass transfer in a low mass X-ray binary phase. Globular clusters, which are clusters of tens of thousands of millions of stars, are rich in millisecond pulsar formation environments. However, until recently, only one MSP has been identified in NGC 6397, one of the two globular clusters closest to Earth. Researchers have not only discovered a second pulsar in our neighboring globular cluster, but they also have a better understanding of why other pulsars have gone missing. Dr. Zhang Lai of the National Astronomical Observatories of the Chinese Academy of Sciences discovered a new 5.78 milliseconds period millisecond pulsar in an eclipsing binary system while observing NGC 6397 with the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia. The Meerkat Radio Telescope in South Africa also confirmed this discovery. NGC 6397b is only visible when the pulsar is on the side of its orbit that is closest to the observer. It has the longest measured orbital period of any GC eclipsing binary at 1.97 days. This orbital period is also consistent with the previously discovered X-ray source, U18, which was previously thought to be a hidden MSP. The current research has determined that U18 is an NGC 6397b. Dr. Zhang discovered the new pulsar using data from the Parkes Radio Telescope's first observation on April 12, 2019. Over a three-year period, the Parkes Radio Telescope made 39 observations, along with two observations made by the Meerkat Radio Telescope. A notable characteristic of NGC 6397b is the faintness of its radio signal and extended radio quiescent periods. The researchers hypothesized that NGC 6397b is part of a subclass of extremely faint and heavily obscured binary pulsars. According to the researchers, this could explain the apparent abundance of isolated pulsars in the dense cores of CGs, where stellar interactions are expected to result in binaries preferentially. In other words, binaries may not be absent, they may be simply, but difficult to detect. According to the researchers, these faint pulsars are difficult to detect in radio bands because they are either embedded in clouds of plasma or actively accreting matter as a result of their companion stars. Future research could determine whether these explanations accurately describe why so few binary pulsars have been discovered in CGs. And as always, if you want to learn more about space, like, subscribe, check our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.